This presentation is entitled Influence of the Solar Wind on Earth's Climate and Ancient Civilizations. The solar wind blowing from the sun changes according to the direction of the sun, depending on the time and seasons. The fact that the Earth's axis of rotation is not at right angles to the ecliptic plane but is tilted more 23.4 degrees is the reason for the change of the seasons. The tilt of the rotational axis of the Earth is a precession with a cycle of 26,000 years. Currently, the axis of rotation is tilted 23.4 degrees in the direction of the east. However, the axis of rotation was tilted 23.4 degrees in the direction of the south around 6,500 years ago. In that era of warm climate, human began an agriculture. Climate changes due to sea celestial motion of the Earth. As the Earth rotates, the center of irradiation of the Earth by the Sun moves along the latitude of the Earth. On the other hand, the Earth's axis of rotation is tilted approximately 23.4 degree from a straight line perpendicular to the orbital plane of the Earth's orbit. The Earth's axis of rotation is pointing toward the North Star at any time of the day or at any time of the year. Therefore, at the current tilt of the axis of rotation, westerly winds blow from a slightly southerly direction in both summer and winter. When the center of the surface irradiated by the Sun is in the northern hemisphere, there is an Asian continent, so influences due to irradiating the continent will be appeared. When the center of the surface irradiated by the sun is in the southern hemisphere, there is an Indian Ocean, so influences due to irradiation on the sea will be appeared. If the direction of westerlies changes, the climate changes. There was an ice age 13,000 years ago in a cycle of 26,000 years where westerly winds continued to blow from the north. Current season in precession corresponds to the warm season that westerly winds continue to blow from the south. Effects of solar wind on atmospheric movements. Weather is orbiting the Earth in counterclockwise direction faster than the Earth's rotation. Only the solar wind has the power to move the weather on a global scale. In the conventional theory, it is said that the influence of the solar wind is prevented by the geomagnetic field. However, the reason why the solar wind does not reach the ground is that the mean free path of molecules near the ground is order of micron meter. The solar wind has a rotation component of 1.89 km per second counterclockwise, and the solar wind collides with the center of the daytime hemisphere to drive the trade wind. Trade winds move clockwise near the center of irradiation in the daytime hemisphere. However, on the night side, it moves counterclockwise as shown in Fig. 2. On the other hand, the solar wind of 500 km per second or more that passes through the east side of the mid-latitude region of the Earth moves the atmosphere from west to east. Thus, the weather of Earth is moving from west to east faster than the rotation of the Earth. Madden-Julian oscillation MJO is a meteorological phenomenon in the western Indian Ocean in which movement of a period of about 30 to 60 days repeats with a pair of wet area and dry area. In the tropics, cumulonimbus clouds occur in the daytime, thunderstorms occur in the evening. As shown in Fig.4, the atmospheric flow blowing from west to east is above the trade wind. The reason for the MJO, which moves cumulonimbus clouds in a wide area to the east at a slower speed, is that the trade winds generated by the head-on collision of the solar wind during the daytime move the atmosphere from east to west, offsetting the effect of westerly winds that move the atmosphere from west to east in the upper sky. It is incorrect to explain that trade winds are caused by the slower movement compared with Earth's rotation moving from west to east. Joman Sea advance is caused by precession of the Earth. About 6,500 years ago, there was a time when the sea level on the east coast of Japan was a high level called Joman Kaishan. Due to the precession of the Earth, 6,500 years ago, the center irradiated by the sun moved to the northern hemisphere side, as shown in the center of Fig. 4, and the Arctic ice melted, and the sea level rose. In addition, since the east-west directional tilt of the precession became zero degrees, then the trade winds and westerlies have become parallel to the latitude. Thus, the trade winds blew continuously all year round on the east coast of the Japanese archipelago. Discovery of precession of rotational axis of the Earth. According to ancient Egyptian records about 4,800 years ago, the bright star near the direction of the North Pole on the Earth's axis was Tuban. Today, the closest is the North Star in the constellation Ursa Major. AD Moreover, around 14,000 AD, the star Vega Alpha the constellation will be the celestial North Pole. The first to discover the movement of the vernal equinox due to precession of the Earth's axis of rotation was the Greek astronomer Hipparchus. He used Spica in Virgo, which is located almost at 180 degrees Huang longitude and 0 degrees Huang latitude, 
to measure the angular distance between the Moon and Spica during a total lunar eclipse. Hipparchus discovered that the values of the Yellow Sutra had changed compared to the celestial catalogue made by Timacharis, about 150 years before his time. He found a similar shift in stars other than Spica, concluding that this shift was not due to the motion of the star, but due to the ecliptic. The mechanism of precession can be explained by the Virial theorem on equilibrium state. At equilibrium, the kinetic energy corresponds to half of the potential energy. A boiled egg that rotates horizontally stands vertically when it rotates the higher speed than a corresponding speed. The orbiting material falls on the planet and the mass become large. Thus, the rotational speed of the planet's rotation increases as the mass increases. As the rotation speed increases, the angle of inclination of the precession decreases because the potential energy of the sun's gravity also increases. Conversely, if the energy of rotation decreases due to tidal effects and the like, the inclination angle of precession will increase. Precession changes the north-south directional component of westerly winds and trade winds the period of winter solstice on precession at northern hemisphere shows on the left of Fig.7. At this period, westerlies continue to blow from the northwest, so the northern hemisphere cools. The last ice age ended about 10,000 years ago, and global warming progressed as atmospheric currents gradually changed southward due to precession of the Earth. The season of the vernal equinox of precession is shown in the middle of Fig.7. During this period, the sun's rays move to the northern hemisphere to warm the northern hemisphere. Currently, the northern hemisphere is the age of the summer solstice of precession, shown on the right side of Fig.7. As westerlies continue to blow from the southwest, the northern hemisphere warms. Due to the precession of the Earth, long-term weather has been changed and human being has been affected by it. Emergence of settlements and birth of ancient civilizations. Living organisms cannot live without water. Around 6,500 years ago, the axis of rotation tilted to the south, and local warming progressed in the northern hemisphere. In addition, trade winds and westerlies began to blow parallel to the latitudes. In that warm season, humans began to settle in areas with water sources. Agricultural life came to be practiced, and cities were appeared to trade agricultural products. Civilization began in a city life where people settled. Foods were procured through farming, and civilized society was born as a mechanism to maintain the society of many people as the population increased. Early civilized societies relied on agriculture, so it was common to make the sun a god. The life of civilization is troublesome. In modern Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, there are people who have dinner in the surrounding desert in the evening. The aridification of the environment involved in the collapse of civilized society. Around BC 2200, the area frontally exposed to the sun's irradiation advanced to the south side, and the Sahara region of Africa became dry, owing to the effect of the solar wind moving from southwest to northeast. The dry air of atmosphere flowed to the east. In addition, humans cut tree and other materials in the forests and used them for a long time, and a large area fell into a state of water shortage for a long time, and many ancient civilizations collapsed. Decline in sea levels and the development of mountain glaciers during the last glacial period. Between 70,000 and 10,000 years ago, the last glacial period was when seawater became land ice, reducing the amount of seawater on Earth and lowering sea levels around the world by about 120 meters. In Southeast Asia, the shallow seas of today became land, and the Bering Land Bridge was formed between Asia and Alaska, and humans migrated to various places. Changes in the energy irradiated by the sun by the Milinkovitch cycle and long-term climate change due to analysis of the Antarctic ice sheet. Fig. 13. A good correlation can be seen between changes in temperature due to analysis of the atmosphere contained in the Antarctic ice sheet and the amount of sunlight irradiated by Milinkovitch cycle at 65 degrees north latitude. Global climate change caused by precession of the Earth should differ between the northern and southern hemispheres. However, the effect is not clear in Fig. 13. Conclusion. Precession on Earth affects long-term climate change because it changes the angle of solar irradiation and the angle of impact of the solar wind. In 6,500 years ago, the center of the sun's radiation moved to the northern hemisphere, melting Arctic ice and raising sea levels. Around that time, the east-west tilt of the rotation axis became zero degrees, so the trade winds and westerly winds became parallel to the latitude, and civilization began in a city life where people settled. Thus, it became clear that the solar wind affected the Earth's climate, and those ancient civilizations were affected by it. Thank you for your kind attention.